Man, the Sonic 2 movie was so cool. It was even better than this first one. Yeah. I remember when we watched the first one some months ago, and the sequel was indeed incredible. My favorite part was when Sonic fought Knuckles for the first time in the film. Mine too. Now let's go home before it gets late. We still have to make dinner for Russ and our kids. Hey boys, are you hearing what I'm hearing? Yes I am, honey. It sounds like a child crying. Look! Over there! Oh no, it's indeed a child crying. Hey there, young boy. My name is Doris, and this is my husband Boris. It's a good thing we found you. You're likely very hungry, cold, sad and confused. Are you lost? Or did you run away from home? Well, Boris, he isn't answering me. Cut him some slack. He's probably too traumatized to talk right now. But whatever happened to you, you don't need to worry anymore. We are here to help you. Yeah. We will take you to our house, and we will take good care of you until we find a way to get you to a good adoption center, so you can find a nice family to always love and care for you. Come on. Let's get you off these dirty cold streets and take you to our home. You'll love it in there. Just follow us. Well, here we are. This is our beautiful house. What do you think of it? Make yourself comfortable, little fella. Yeah. You can stay in our house for as long as you need to. We will keep you healthy and safe until we can find an adoptive family for you. Hey, do you want to eat something? You must be very hungry right now. Then we will prepare something extra delicious for you. Come on Doris, let's go to the kitchen and make him dinner. Right behind you, Boris. You know, Boris, I've got something on my mind right now. What is it? It's about the little boy we just rescued. I've kinda go attached to him, and I don't think we should take him to the adoption center. I think we should just adopt him ourselves. We can add him to our family and be a family of five from now on. What do you think of this idea, honey? I think it's a wonderful idea. I was just thinking the exact same thing. Forget leaving him for adoption, he is here to stay. Yay! But, if he's gonna stay in our family, we should give him a name, right? We don't know what he is called, and I don't think he's going to say it, since he apparently doesn't know how to talk. Yes, I agree. We should give him a name. But what should we call him? I know, how about we call him? Scop. Huh? Scop? Don't you mean Scott? Well, I swapped the T's from the Scott name to P's, just to make it a little more unique. You don't think that's good? No, I think it might work. I hope he likes his new name we'll give him. I hope so too, honey. Well, the food here is ready. Let's give it to him. Hey mom and dad, who is this kid? He looks like he came straight out from the streets. We tried to talk to him, but he didn't say a single word. Did he broke into our house or something? Kalu and Rosie, say hello to your new adoptive brother, Scop. Excuse me, what? You heard him correctly, kids. He's going to stay and live with us from now on. We found this kid crying on the cold streets when we left the cinema, and we felt so bad for him, that we decided to bring him to our home. The original plan was to temporarily take care of him for a while, until we could take him to an adoption center and get him a family of his own, but me and Boris decided against that just a while ago, so now he is going to live with us and be a part of our family. But, but, 
No buts Kalu and Rosie, we already made our decision, he's going to stay with us and that's final. So you two better be nice to him and treat him like a brother. And don't you dare get him involved with your troublemaking schemes. We want to be able to raise him well, and for him to be an actually well-behaved kid. Okay mom, we promise we will be nice to him and not involve him with our schemes. Good, now please go back to your room, we were about to give Scop his dinner. But what about us? We didn't have our dinner yet. We will make your dinner in a while. Now please go, we wasted too much time and we don't want Scop's food to get cold. Sorry about that, those are our kids, Kalo and Rosie. If they ever bother you, you can tell us and we'll deal with them, alright? And also, since you're going to live with us, and we don't know how you are called, we've decided to give you a name. After thinking for a bit, I came up with the name Scob. What do you think? Did you like it? I'm so glad you liked it. Welcome to the Anderson family, Scob. And here is the food we've made with extra care for you. Hope you enjoy. Man, I can't believe what just happened back there. Mom and Dad straight up neglected us in favor of that new kid. I know, that was such bullshit. Who in the world is that kid anyway? I've never seen or heard of him in my entire life. Me neither. But if he's going to live with us, then we'll have to learn to get along with him. However, there's something off about that kid. Somehow, he made mom and dad completely infatuated with him, to the point that they only want to give attention to him. He barely arrived at our house and he's already mom and dad's favorite for God's sake. Yeah, I agree. I just hope mom and dad's favoritism towards that boy doesn't go too far. I mean, we might be bad behaved kids and filthy troublemakers, but we are still their very own daughter and son. So they should prioritize us instead of anyone else, right? You are completely right, Rosie. What kind of parents would neglect their own kids in favor of some stranger they never saw in their entire lives? This is just outrageous and stupid. What should we do? Let's let this one slide since it was just the first time it happened. But if the situation escalates, then we'll have to do something drastic about it. All right, Caillou. Hey, Kalu and Rosie, me and your mom need you to do a little favor for us. Huh? What is it, Dad? Well, we were planning to build a place for Scop to sleep on, but we have no conditions of doing that this late at night. We can only do that tomorrow day. So, we will need for Scop to sleep in your room for this night. Excuse me. What? Are you serious right now? Yes, yeah, Kalu, I'm dead serious. But come on, it's just this one night, this won't be repeated tomorrow. And what if I don't want him to sleep here? Ha 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 ha! Don't act like you have a choice. It's either you let him sleep here, or you get grounded 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 grounded. Ugh, fine. Whatever. He can sleep here. There. Now that everyone is comfy, have a good sleep. Tomorrow will be a long day for us, so rest well. Good night. I don't know how much more of this bullshit I can take. This is getting beyond ridiculous. Agreed. Mom and Dad better start treating us more fairly instead of pampering that boy 24-7. We'll see how this situation goes tomorrow, but for now, let's forget this ordeal and rest ourselves. Yes, let's do that. Good night, Caillou. Good night, Rosie.
good morning Rosie. I have a feeling that this day won't be a particularly good one. Good morning Caillou. And I'm feeling the same thing. Let's just go downstairs. Oh you gotta be kidding me. Now mom and dad are literally treating him like a king. Acting like they are his servants. They never once treated us, their own children, like this before. And when it comes to that stupid boy, they do it the very next day that they met him. I'm so freaking jealous right now. Same here. Let's try knocking some sense into them. We have to remind them that they have other children to look after as well. Hey, mom and dad. Is there anything to eat for breakfast? We are hungry. Hey, we are going to cause trouble. Aren't you going to stop us? Are you even paying attention or listening to what we are saying? So Scott, are you ready for our joyride? We will take you to a trip around all of Yon City. We are going to have so much fun. Let's go. Hey, wait. Wait for us, please. Man, I can't believe mom and dad left without us. They completely ignored us, and acted like we didn't even exist. Why did they do that? Caillou, we have to go after them. We can't just stay here doing nothing while mom and dad goes out with that boy to do who knows what. We need to know what they're going to do, they might be in danger. All right Rosie, let's go after them. We will sneakily follow them wherever they go. I hope nothing bad happens. Oh Scott, you are such a good and well-behaved kid. You bring me joy in being a parent again. Indeed, he is way better than our previous troublemaking kids. What were the name of them again, I forgot. Well, who cares anyway? Those previous kids we had don't matter to us anymore. They were nothing but burdens in our lives, and we already found the perfect replacement of them. Yeah. That's true, Scop is the kid we've always wanted, and those previous kids we had, were nothing but no good troublemakers. I think we should just disown and get rid of them, so we can live peacefully with our new kid. I like the sound of that. Let's do it later. So, how about we continue our tour through Vyond City? We still have lots of places to go. I, I can't believe what I've just heard from mom and dad. I didn't know they hated us that much. Now they're planning to kick us out of the family and replace us with that idiot kid. I just can't believe it. Wa a a a a a a a a a I know, Rosie. This isn't right. Despite all the troublemaking we did, and all the times mom and dad grounded us, I know that deep down, they still loved us. 
But since that stupid kid arrived in our house, they started to completely neglect us, and now they are going to abandon us forever. It's all that kid's fault. Our lives became terrible ever since he arrived here. We seriously need to get rid of him, before our parents get rid of us. Yeah, let's get rid of that stupid boy once and for all, I have had enough of him. When he and our parents arrive from their little trip, we wait for mom and dad to go away, and we kick that boy out of our house. Sounds like a plan. Alright let's do this. Hopefully our lives returns to normal once that is done. Well, we are home. We hope you enjoyed our trip around Fionn City. Me and my husband are now going to make your place to sleep, okay? Feel free to do whatever you like, see you later! Are you enjoying all the attention you're receiving, you punk? Yeah, you must have enjoyed stealing our parents from us. I don't know what kind of black magic you use to make our parents completely neglect and wish to replace us, but this madness has to end, now. You are going away from our lives, and out of this house, and you're never returning here, ever again. Hey, stop right there. Ha, huh. now I remember what you two were called. It's Kalu and Rosie. Oh, uh, oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rosie and Kalu, how dare you try to remove Scop from this house? You know that he's here to stay forever. That is so fucking it. You are grounded, 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 grounded for freaking ever. And not only that, you two are officially disowned. You both are not part of this family anymore. And you will never live with us in this house ever again. So, get out of here right now and never come back. We are officially done with you too. See you never again, Kalo and Rosie. Wow. Are you okay Rosie? Did dads kick hurt you a lot? No, I'm fine, thanks for asking. But, it's over now Caillou. That plan really backfired, and now we're disowned from our own family. I can't believe it. Can this day get any worse? wa a a a a a a a a a a a Don't give up hope just yet Rosie, there is still one more thing that we can do. Wait, really? What are you going to do? Something I should have done a long time ago. I'm calling Child Protective Services on our parents. Say, what? The CPS actually exists in Beyond City? I thought that was just a myth. Oh, it does exist Rosie, but it mainly operates to help kids that are not troublemakers, because even them have a bias against people like us. Wow, just freaking wow. This city sucks. But don't worry, they won't have to know that we are trouble causers, we can just lie to them, and make them help us teach mom and dad a lesson. Good thinking Caillou. I can't wait to see dad and mom get confronted by the CPS, their reaction is gonna be priceless. Me too. Someone finally answered my call and I'll talk with them. Give me a moment. Hello? This is Child Protective Services. My name is Amanda. Who am I talking to? Hello, my name is Caillou Anderson, and I would like to report a case of child neglect that happened towards me and my sister Rosie. You have been neglected? That's no good. Can you tell me more about it? Well, it all started yesterday, when our parents brought this tramp-looking kid into our house. Then they announced that the kid would stay in our house because our parents decided to adopt him. At first we thought it was weird, 
but we let it slide. But not too long after that, our parents started behaving very abnormally. They started ignoring me and my sister, and neglecting our basic needs. It only got worse today, they didn't even pay attention to us anymore, and acted like we didn't even exist. And the worst of all, just a while ago, they literally disowned us for trying to stand up for ourselves. We tried to remove that kid from our house, and then our parents kicked, grounded, and disowned us on the spot. Now we don't have a place to live anymore, because they replaced us with that kid. So I called you for help, because we don't know what to do anymore. Will you please help us? Oh don't worry, I will definitely help you. I've never heard of a case like this before. Seriously, what is wrong with these parents of yours? I will be there as soon as possible. Can you give me your address please? Sure. My address is 2106, Quebec Street, Grounded District. I will wait for you, see you soon Amanda, and thank you for your concern. You're welcome Kalu. Bye. Success, Rosie. The CPS worker is coming to help us. Yay yay yay. We have hope of turning this around once again. When will the CPS worker come here? She should be coming in a moment, I've already gave her our address and... Wow, that was quick. Hello kids. You must be Kaylou and Rosie Anderson. Is this your house? Are your parents still there? Yes, I'm Caillou and the girl behind me is Rosie, and this is our house. And indeed, our parents are still there, probably pampering that boy some more. Then let's confront them. I want to know what's the deal with them neglecting you so much. Come right in. There they are. I knew they were doing that shit again. What a surprise. Come on. Let's show them a piece of our mind. They are in big trouble now. Hello there, little one. And what your name might be? His name is Cobb. It was my husband that came up with it. Cool. You two found him in the streets, right? That's right. We decided to rescue him and adopt him for ourselves. Best decision we've made in our lives. I'm glad that you rescued this precious boy. I want to take care and protect him with all my life. Same here. I'm going to cook something for little Scott here. He must be hungry right now. Be right back. You know what? Fuck this shit. I'm done. I'm so fucking done. Screw everything. G R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R Caillou, wait for me. Come on Caillou, it's okay. We will figure out something. How Rosie, how? It's no use. Nothing we try is working, because that piece of crap always magically foil our plans against him like it's nothing. I don't know what to do anymore, and we are already disowned. We should just accept our fate and find another place to live. It's over. Look, Caillou, it's clear that we can't deal with this problem on our own. We tried everything we could, but it all failed. We can't do this alone. We need to ask our troublemaking friends for help. But Rosie, this situation feels completely hopeless. I don't think there's anything our friends can do to help us. We won't know if that's true if we don't ask them first. Who knows, they might be able to help. They helped us with a seemingly hopeless situation before, remember? Back in Halloween of last year, when our pet Gilbert died. We thought it was impossible to bring him back to life. But, when we asked help from our friends, some of them were actually able to help us do the impossible. If we didn't had messed up, we would have had Gilbert back, all thanks to their help. So, I seriously think we should try to ask them for help again, before we think of giving up hope completely. You know what? I think you might be right. We should at least try to know if they can help us. Our troublemaking friends are some of the smartest people we know. All right Rosie, it's settled. I'm going to call an emergency meeting at the Troublemakers Club, and get some of our friends there. Let's hope this works out.
So Kalo and Rosie, why did you had to call an emergency meeting? What's the matter? Well Rodri, we have quite the complicated situation going on right now, and we couldn't deal with it alone, no matter how much we tried. So we came here to ask for your help. Well, you made the right decision coming to us for help. We troublemakers always help each other out, no matter how dire the situation is. So tell us, what's the situation bothering you too? We are going to spare you the details, since it's quite a long story. But in short, our parents brought home this tramp-looking kid, in which they got extremely infatuated with. So much in fact, that they started to completely neglect and ignore us, their own children. When we tried to remove that kid from our house, our parents straight up kicked and disowned us. And, even when we tried to call Child Protective Services on them all, it was futile, because the CPS worker got infatuated with the tramp kid too, for some reason. With no options left, we came here desperately looking for help. This is our last hope in resolving that problem for good. If this fails, then we will have to accept the fact that we lost our family, and we'll need to find a new place to live. Wait, you're telling me that you actually got disowned? And you're currently homeless right now? I'm really sorry to hear that. I want to let you know that you are more than welcome to live here in the Troublemakers Club if you want, in case you don't get your real home back. Thanks Rodri. You're a real one. But this situation really is strange to say the least. A weird kid found their way into your house, and literally every adult there loved them for some reason. And the adults prefer to take care of that kid instead of you guys. I've never heard of something like this before. Yeah, me neither. Nothing about it makes sense. It's almost anomalous, to a degree. How are we supposed to deal with it? I don't know. But we better start coming up with ideas to resolve this problem, instead of just debating between ourselves. How about we start with you, Arthur? You haven't said anything at all yet. Hey guys, there's no need to scramble your brain for ideas. I think I already know what's going on. Wait, you do? Yes. I think you might be dealing with an SCP. An SCP? What in the world is that? An SCP is an anomalous creature, entity, object, or place, that exists in the world we live in. Some are harmless, but the majority of them either causes harm or destruction with their anomalous powers and effects. So, we haven't been dealing with a tramp looking kid with a perplexing amount of charisma, but with an anomalous powerful entity this entire time? Wow! We really stood no chance against that thing. There was no way we could have dealt with it on our own. Arthur, please tell us that you know how to defeat this SCP creature that you are referring to. Sorry Caillou, I don't. Even though I'm a huge SCP fan, I don't know every detail about every SCP. There are thousands of them, and new information about them keeps being discovered every day. But don't worry. Even if I can't help you, I know something that definitely can. It's the SCP Foundation. If there's any problem you have that is SCP related, they are the ones that you wanna call. Really? Yes. This is excellent news. Do you know the location of this foundation? I have heard that there is a facility right here in Vyond City. I'm going to make an appointment with one of the doctors from the foundation, so we can all go there and discuss this problem with them. See Caillou. I told you that coming here would be a good idea. Now we have another chance to end this problem once and for all. Yes Rosie, you were right. I'm never doubting you again. There. I've already found the facility's location, and made an appointment with one of the doctors there. Let's get going Caillou and Rosie. Yay 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 yay. Well Arthur, consider this the second official mission of the Troublemakers Club. If this mission is a success, you will be promoted. Good luck Arthur. Thanks guys. I'll do my best to make this mission a total success. Follow me Caillou and Rosie, let's go to the SCP Foundation. Look. 
We've arrived at the SCP Foundation. Let's enter there and... Oh shit. Kid, entrance or approach of unauthorized personnel at this facility is extremely prohibited. Tell me the reason you came here, or I will have to shoot you three. Um, 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 Davis, don't shoot them. They came here to have an appointment with me. Really? Okay then, my apologies, Dr. Gears. You all may come in. It's okay kids, you may enter for now. Let's go talk about your problem. Welcome to the SCP Foundation. I'm Dr. Gears. So, what kind of anomaly is causing trouble for you? I've studied a lot of SCPs, so I can probably identify the one that is bothering you. Well, the anomaly in question is a tramp-looking child. Our parents found him in the streets yesterday, and brought him to our home. And for some reason, they became extremely obsessive of him. They only care and pay attention to him, and completely ignore and neglect me and my sister, when we are their own children. Okay, that is enough. I already know what you're dealing with. It's an SCP-1076. I thought we've already rid the streets of these little pests. SCP-1076? Yes. It's a Euclid class, mind-affecting, humanoid SCP. Its anomalous powers affects adults that have children younger than 21 years old. It causes the parents to always focus their care and attention to SCP-1076, and completely neglect anyone else, including themselves. At first, they will start neglecting their own children, and they won't even care if their kids dies from lack of care. The only child that matters to them is SCP-1076. And at later stages, their obsession with caring about SCP-1076 will grow so large, that they won't even look after themselves anymore, and will slowly succumb to thirst and starvation. This anomaly affects any adult that comes close to it, and has a child younger than 21. No matter who the adult in question is. Wow, this explains a lot. Mom and Dad wasn't doing all of that to us on purpose, they were being controlled by that monster. And that also explains why the CPS worker got attached to the creature as well. But Mr. Gears, how do we get rid of this SCP? We tried to remove it from our house ourselves, but it failed because our parents got really aggressive towards us. Can't you guys go to our house and remove it for us? Well, that is another effect of that SCP. The adults are extremely protective of SCP-1076, and they get really aggressive or would even go as far as to kill anyone that tries to separate them apart. If I've sent our guards to remove that SCP by force, and your parents tried to attack them, our guards would have to kill your parents in self-defense. You wouldn't want that to happen, would you? Well, no. As much as we hate our parents grounding us for every time we misbehave, they are still our mom and dad, and we love them still, despite everything. So, we want them to live. So is there any alternative way we can tackle this issue? Yes there is, actually. Here's what I'm going to suggest. SCPs-1076 are extremely territorial, if you put two of these SCPs in the same house, they will literally fight until one, or both, is dead. So, I suggest that you find another SCP-1076 on the streets, and bring it to your house where the other one is located. And if you're lucky, they will fight to the death and kill each other at the same time. Your parents won't try to stop the fight, since they will love both SCP equally, and won't know which one to choose. So, this suggestion is definitely your best shot. I like this idea a lot. We are definitely going to try it. Thanks for everything Mr. Gears. You are welcome. And good luck you kids. Hope it goes well for you. Huh? What was that? Gears, Code Red, this is an emergency. SCP-106 just breached containment. You and your guests have to leave this site immediately. Kids, run. You need to get out of here right now. Head to the exit door and leave this place at once. Your lives are at huge risk. Ah! 
there's the exit. Let's get out of. Wow, that was a lot of running. But at least we escaped out of that place alive. True. But most importantly, we now know how to defeat the SCP that is occupying our house. Yeah. According to what Dr. Gears said, we'll need to find another SCP-1076, and bring it to our house. Then let's start looking around here for some. I think we'll be able to find one of them in this place. Look. Wow, we already found one so quickly. I guess it's because this area is very popular among them. They look like they would prefer to lure its victims in busy or filthy places, and this area around the Beyond City Cinema is usually pretty dirty. Makes sense. Come on boys, let's go talk to her and convince her to follow us home. Alright. Hello little girl. Did you get lost? You don't know how to get back to your home? Do you even have a family at all? Don't worry, we can bring you to a nice new home, which is our house. You'll love it in there. We will accept you as part of our family, and you will receive all the attention in the world. You can trust us, we don't mean you any harm. And we're not trying to trick you either, we're being serious. So, will you come with us? This is your chance to find adults that will take care of you. Excellent choice. You won't regret this, we assure you. Just follow us, and we will guide you to your new home. Now come along. There they are. Continuing pampering that boy as usual. Look at them. They look so malnourished and pale. They don't even look after themselves. They would rather starve than to miss a single second of pampering that little prick. shit. They completely annihilated each other. I guess this is what happens when you put two SCP-1076 in the same place, complete utter bloodshed. But hey, look at the bright side, this SCP problem we had is dealt with for good. No more replacing us around here? Yes. That's right. Take that, you little twerp. No one messes with me and my brother and get away with it. Well, I'll be calling the SCP Foundation to come visit your house later to clean up this mess. If they're still alive that is. But also, since this problem got taken care of, we can say that the second mission of the Troublemakers Club was a total success. Nice. Very nice. I can't wait for my promotion. I'm gonna be an elite troublemaker in the club. I'm so happy. See you later guys. Bye Arthur. Thanks for your help. Huh. What happened? I don't feel good at all. Yeah, me neither. I'm so hungry, thirsty, I'm smelling, and I don't remember anything. Same here. I think you should look after yourself. Take a bath, eat plenty of food, drink water, and rest your mind. Yeah, you should all have a rest, after the horrible fate you almost had to go through. Okay, we'll do all that. We really should do something to bring ourselves up to our senses again, because I can for the life of me figure out what happened to us. I'm going to my home and do the same thing. Goodbye I suppose. 
Wow, this was such a long and crazy day. Indeed it was, but everything worked out in the end. And you also taught me an important lesson Rosie. It's to never give up hope, no matter how hopeless a situation or a problem might be. Thank you for being my truest and best friend and ally. I would be totally lost without you. You're welcome big bro. No matter what life throw at us, we will always push it through, and we'll always have each other's backs. Say, how about a quick trip to Chuck E. Cheese's to celebrate this victory we had? I'm in. Let's go.